I was sent then to a, 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 what is that place now? I can think of it. It's near north of Glasgow, and there was the Queen Elizabeth. The Lord was the Queen Elizabeth was then uh, transferred in a troop transport ship, and they had a lot of wounded on board uh, from the that was they transferred back to England. We had to go with the Queen Elizabeth across the ocean without convoy. They took it in about four days. Without convoy? Without a convoy. They went like all across the Atlantic, went fast. Of course, the whole ship was full, was wounded, was laying there. And the fourth day, we, one man even went overboard. They threw a buoy and food out to him, and they kept on going. They could not take the chance for the whole boat. You know. So we kept on going. And then we finally hit the harbor of New York. And the Dutch Marines, we were, we were Dutch Marines, but we didn't have our training yet, but they put us to work and take care of them. The boys that could not come out of bed, they were, of course, we didn't have all the wheelchairs available, so we, a lot of it had to carry the one that could not walk. And I had one boy that I took care of had no legs, shot up because of a landmine. So it was a lot of things that we did. And of course, we took care of them, you know, I considered them my brothers practically. So I took care of them. And then we became near New York, and the one without the lake that I will never forget said to me, Jack, I'd like to see the Statue of Liberty. Can you see if you can get a wheelchair or something? And of course, there were actually no wheelchairs at all. And don't forget, I was not that strong. But I thought I. I have to have that strength one way or another. And I fixed the sheet and put his palm of his body in and put the sheet over my shoulder that he was that his bottom part because he couldn't put not his legs around me. And I put it, that sheet around my shoulder and he could hold on, on me on top like that. And I took him to the deck. And he saw the Statue of Liberty. Then I never forget that the it was a black boy. He started singing, God bless America. The whole ship chimed in. And there's a sound that they will never forget. They sang it about three times. I learned the words of God bless America also. And then we were all through. I took him back again to his bunk. And he said, I don't know how I can thank you. He said, you don't have to. So. He saw the Statue of Liberty, and I did too. <laughs>